kitchen now and joining us for the very first time is Chef Meles Berg. Uh, we're at the chef's table. Welcome. We love this. And I'm... this is a work it's of beautiful stunning. art. I'm yeah, so pleased that. you like the look of it. I mean, we eat with our eyes and I know most people love hummus, obviously. So, I mean, instinctively, we go into the supermarket and buy hummus. But totally. I want to show you how to make a really creamy, delicious hummus that's so easy. Yeah. I mean, the essential ingredients really are chickpeas and tahini, which is a sesame seed paste. Right. But getting the quantities right will have an impact and obviously the overall flavour. Mm -hmm. And that's what I want to show you how to do, really. So these chickpeas are jarred. Now you can boil them from dried chickpeas yourself. Um, I'm going to try not to spill any, so I put them in. Um, I reserve some to dress the hummus with. But if you use tin chickpeas, that's absolutely fine. I just find the ones from the jars are more creamy because uh, you've got the aquafiber, which is the... Liquid it's Liquid, in. exactly. Is that what you make vegan meringue out of? Exactly. So okay. instead of using egg whites, yeah. you'd use aquafaba, which is those boiling juices. Oof, and so I love that you know that already. Well, it's know, amazing. It's, it's, it's a funny name. Aquafaba. It is. It, it is. I mean, you can also use some ice water to blitz it, and that makes it nice and creamy too. Tahini is key as well. It's got to be lovely, creamy hummus. So I've got that going in here, and that sesame seed paste. Mm. So just pop that all in. And again, you kind of you want more rather than too little of the tahini because that really has an impact on the texture. Right, okay. So that goes in. And the other key ingredients are garlic, lemon, salt and olive oil. Okay. But what I like to do is not put too much of those ingredients at the start. So I've got a around kind of half a teaspoon of garlic going in. And I like to say the quantities rather than the whole clove because mm. cloves differ in size. I think if you kind of start small, uh, you know, half or quarter of a teaspoon, lemon juice, I like mine tangy, so I like to have lots of lemon juice in there. But you can adapt this to your own sort of taste buds and flavours and... Absolutely, and that's the beauty of it. So, you know, food is subjective, so if you like it more garlicky, you like mm. it more lemony, then absolutely, you know, you can add a little bit more of everything. I've got some sea salt going in there, and I do love the flavour of sea salt. It's ever so slightly mm. less um, kind of powerful than kind of just regular fine table salt. Mm -hmm. um, a little bit more lemon. Yeah. And just that extra virgin olive oil, and again, extra virgin olive oil is a little bit more luscious than regular olive oil. So that all goes in, like so. I don't add any other liquid, because we've got the aquifer there. Just that amount of oil, is that all you've... All yeah, you've about been... a tablespoon. Oh, it's tiny, isn't that wasn't it? much, was it? I know, I thought it'd be a lot more. I'll tell you what then. Let's pop a little bit more in. <laughs> You've said it now, so we'll put a little bit more in. And that's it. And I blitz it first before adding any other liquid because you don't want it watery, unless you're going to make hummus soup, but that's a whole other story. Oh, is that an actual thing? It's an actual thing, so it's a real traditional Cypriot delicacy, I guess. So you, you essentially water down hummus. It was my grandfather's, my dad's, dad's favourite dish. No so my mum would always make leftover hummus. Hot. Hot. Good with heaven. fresh crusty bread. Oh, I it's think it's absolutely quite like that. delicious. Oh, Hummus it's soup. Really delicious. Um, I'm going to blitz this, but yeah, very quickly. Go, go, go for it. That's all I'm going to do because I don't want it to go on for too long. But you would blitz it until it's the texture that we've got here now. Exactly like this, like one I've made uh -huh. earlier, obviously. So, yeah, a lovely creamy texture. Oh my God, that's amazing. And what I love to do is load it with a salad. Oh, I'm loving that you're loving that it. That is amazing. <laughs> I'm so pleased. Have you noticed I'm very quiet? Good. That means <laughs> that you're enjoying it, which is so brilliant. Good. The um, layer... Oh, see, the thing is that you've, you've obviously um, turbocharged this because there are so many different flavours in here, so many different textures. And I think that's what's lovely about a dish like hummus. It's such a humble recipe, really. When you think of the ingredients, it's, you know, pulses, it's a little bit of lemon juice, some garlic, salt and olive oil. And, and essentially, there's not a lot more going on. And but... hummus is really good for you as well. So good. Like, it's such a... Like, we're meant to be eating more pulses anyway, aren't we? Because all the different health benefits. It's so good for you. And then you're getting those additional greens with this finely chopped salad, which I'm, I'm just kind of dicing this red pepper so that you can see how small I like to dress this salad with. You know, it, it, the smaller the pieces of salad, the easier it is to scoop up with the bread. So, yeah. I mean, I'm going to quickly add this all in. So we've got the cucumber, because that's what I love. I love scooping up. You've got there some Turkish mm -hmm. pide bread, um, which is a really traditional Turkish bread. There's some chedek there as well, um, which is another... That's a Cypriot bread. And they're just Yum. perfect vessels, really, to scoop up the hummus with. Yeah. Um, so this salad, because everything's so finely chopped and so small, we've got pomegranates in here as well. You can literally just add it all in, dress the hummus with it. I've got some fresh coriander. I've got some spring onions. You do this really quickly, whiz it all up. So the hard work is chopping it all in the neck. The hard work is chopping it all up. 
We've got some pomegranate molasses, mm. which is that lovely reduced syrup. Now, you know, my hairdresser, lovely lady Chilla, mm. knows you since you were a very young age. I think she, she was 13 does. when she first met you, and yes. she gave me some of that pomegranate molasses oh, for my salad. did she? And she was like, put this on everything, it's amazing, and it is amazing. Oh, it really is. It just lifts recipes to a whole new level. It's tangy, it's sweet, it's tart, and that's the salad. It's so simple, just like that. And then we're going to use that to dress the hummus with. So that goes... So the, not only... That, but you've got these amazing spices in front of you. I as well. have. I've so got pulled what, what are these? We've got pulled biber, which are Turkish pepper flakes. Which one's which? This. Right. Pulled biber, sumac, paprika, cumin. We've got toasted pine nuts, and we've got some fresh coriander there as well. Steady Eddie. Is it very hot? This it can't be because this isn't. This isn't very hot. So. It smells very smoky, actually. It is smoky, and and the sumac in particular, that purpley one, is also quite tangy. Um, and it's absolutely delicious. You can use it in spice Ooh. rubs, you can use it in marinades, mm. loads of different so things. So you just sprinkling that all Sprinkle over the top? All over the top, everything just goes in. It's quite, you know, you want to get stuck in, you want to get everything dressed up like so. I'm going to go in with some extra virgin olive oil again on top so that the spices stick to those lovely... This is so gorgeous. That layering of flavour is so brilliant, isn't it? Like, yeah. taking something that's got, like, that foundation of the hummus and then adding all that other stuff. And is this in your book? It is in my book. When's your book yes, out? Yes, end of June, June the 30th, and I absolutely cannot wait. I'm so excited for it. Well, congratulations, because it's a big so deal. Much. Thank you so much. kitchen, it's a big deal, your first book out, so congratulations. Thank I think you ever this so is much. anything to go by, it's going to be wonderful. Amazing. Oh, I'm so really pleased lovely. you've enjoyed it. Thank, Thank, you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Mm. Well, for all the details of today's recipe and even more delicious ideas from our This Morning Chefs, head to the free This Morning app.